Okay, good morning. Welcome to another edition of the Bare Bones. So this is a, a quick and dirty video, my Sunday morning video. I've got my coffee. I'm uh, sitting there looking at things. And uh, I had someone ask me in one of the, I think it was in Reddit, how I got so many epic doctrines. And if you look at them, you'll see that on my range units, I have a good spread of epic doctrines, except this guy, I got him recently. This guy has one. He's got none because I just got him. This guy's got three. Then you go down and my Arbos have five Epic Doctors as well. One of these is a Temp, but he's got three. Uh, I got one over here. I got two on this guy. So I've got a few Epic Doctors for range. I'm starting to get some now for for uh, infantry because I'm starting to work on the infantry ones. And, and the question is, of course, well, how am I getting these things? Like, how do I seem to consistently get doctrines that I want and it, in this it, the answer is actually pretty simple if you go into the war scholar which is uh, X and uh, this is the second time I'm doing this video because I did this without having the mic turned on so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to cut in footage of me actually doing this but if you go to the war scholar you'll see right here we have Bowman's Wrath right and it'll give you a chance at an epic doctrine what some people who just start the game don't realize is that you're guaranteed an epic doctrine every 10th epic doctrine right you're guaranteed one now there's a small chance for every time you excavate that you're going to get one but you're guaranteed to get one every 10th time so what i would do is i would just wait until i had 10 treaties these things and then i would mass ex ex excavate and i would get at least one in there every time now one of my viewers told me that there's a slightly better chance if you just hit the one uh, I don't know if this is true or not, but I do know that as I keep clicking the button, uh, you'll get, you know, somewhere in there you'll hit your 10th Doctrine and then you'll get one, right? But I just, I usually use Mass Excavate. And so what I did when I was trying to farm my, my, uh, my range Doctrines is I would save 10 and only do Bowman's Wrath. And so over time, that would give, give me enough Doctrines to like, you know, outfit a few things. Okay, so here's some spliced in footage from take one of me actually doing this. So we'll just see what happens. Let it play. Uh, you can see I'm, I'm working on the carrion spurred here, and that's because I want to uh, get more infantry doctrines. So I'm going to do it one at a time because of what my um, the viewers stated that, you know, because I usually do the mass, the mass excavation, but this time around I'm going to go one at a time. And uh, you're going to see that it's going to be like my third or fourth one I get it. And, and that's because uh, before I took it down to this 10 at a time, I was going all over the map, you know, various, uh, oh, there it is right there, right? Iron sides. Yeah. So I was, I was, that's, that's actually my, my 10th doctrine. Um, so I don't get any more do uh, doctrines, uh, uh, epic doctrines, but apparently if you do it one at a time, it's supposed to be a higher. But before I twigged on to this, this, uh, this, this tenth doctrine is always a, a uh, uh, an epic. I was like all over the map uh, with whatever I was doing. So now I, I always make sure I have the ten, or ten treaties, and then I put in the, the, the one I want. So up until about, about uh, the spring of the season, it was always, it was always uh, Bowman's Wrath. Well, now I'm working on infantry. So okay, so here's we'll just end this spliced in, and we'll go back to the. Your regular scheduled program. All right. Uh, now, how do you get these treaties? Like, how do you farm ten treaties in a week? So, if you look at your weekly quests, as you go down this line, you're going to see that you know you get a treaties here, you get a two treaties here, you get another two there, and then you get another two there. Right. So that's seven. Now, you also may get them from these these military sacks. Um, but I, I have looked around for them today, and I just can't see where you can get them on a quest anymore. Like I used to be able to rely, reliably get them all the time, so I don't know if just that I've used all mine up or if you can't still get them, but um, that little item has a chance to give you a, 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 a doctrine as well, right? Or treaties as well. Now there's another way, and uh, usually if I can't get the tenth treaty in the week, and I, and I usually do, like I usually I'll get ten, what you can do is you can take these uh, principles, or principles, depending if you want to say it in Latin, because uh, there's no hard C in Latin, believe it or not. 
or sorry, there's no soft C in Latin. Okay, so anyway, so you take these principles, and again you hit the excavation, and you go salvage. And uh, you can salvage these guys, like I'll, I'll take these guys here for now. And you can salvage them, and that gives you these principles. Well, what do you do with them once you get them? Well, you exchange them. So you go to exchange, and for every one of those salvaged uh, principles, you'll get one treaty. So what I generally do is I just sort of save them until uh, I don't make my 10 treaties quota, and then I I put one in, right? I, I, I save them for that reason because I try not to, I try to always make my, my 10 treaties in a week. Um, now there's another way to get them, and that's in your season battle pass. You'll see that all along the season battle pass, you get a chance at treaties, right? So you, these are good to, to use. Uh, are good to, to wait for as well. So if you see that you're getting close, you know, you can you can save up. You can also buy a couple in the seasonal store. And usually during a season where I, I, I don't care about the, the skins, uh, I'll stock up on Lotus Water, Treaties, Silver, uh, these cards, and uh, Rare Armor Schematics. But if I don't want any of the skins, and I'm not a fan of, of this, this season skins except for this one, which I'll get in a box anyway. So I would just use my my blades to buy those items. And then the Garrison Quartermaster will also have a, a couple for you to buy. I'm looking pretty good there. All right, so if you look over here, you'll see that I've got five I haven't bought yet, but you know, that's coming. And then you can get them from in this box as well, this crate. I had three of them uh, last uh, last season because of they they gave us two for some unknown reason, but don't make the mistake like my buddy did and did not realize that you can scroll down the crate. Right? He just thought he had the top two lines to go through. So and and most of these ones are garbage. Like I wouldn't I would pay, take these ones. And the, and the reason I wouldn't is because to me um, an extra twenty like pen or something is not worth it. To me, what makes a good doctrine is like a new ability or like a percentage, right? So. Um, I just don't, I just find most, of, like, why would you want, like, that food doctrine? Like, who would use that? It just doesn't make any sense. But, but, but these ones, like, like, these ones uh, that give you an extra, an extra ability or percentages, those are good, right? So these, these three on the left here that I'm about to click on, like, these three I took last, last, uh, last season, right? Extra 23% to rate of fire, extra, you know, extra accuracy, that's, that's important. But I'm not going to get into doctrine, um, doctrine theory crafting in this video. This is just strictly on how to acquire them. But I just wanted you to be aware that when you get this, you can scroll down and think, really think about what you're going to take. Because um, you know, I would always go for the ones that give me uh, an extra ability, with the exception of the the doctrine for muskets that allow you to move and fire. That's actually not what you think it is. Uh, they advance in a line, and the last thing you want to be doing with muskets is advancing toward the enemy. That's just silly. So pretty much everything I've got to say about how to acquire uh, Epic Doctrines reliably. Uh, and this is my, my mid, my bi-weekly video that's a little bit shorter, and, and then that's because I'm actually working on a much longer video uh, that should be coming next Friday, hopefully, if not the Friday after. And uh, that one's what I'm calling my guide to foot calvary. So, you know, stay tuned for that. But on that, thanks for, for watching. I hope I've helped some of you guys uh, with a strategy on how to acquire your epic doctrines reliably and uh, uh, hit like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.